Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how I do my own lash extensions from home. I don't spend a lot of money on them and it doesn't take me a lot of time and um, it's been really great. I've been doing it for a month and I love it. So I thought I'd share um, this with you guys. Um, if you guys are interested, I've had a few people ask me about it and so I love this and I'm so excited. Um, I haven't been making videos for a long time because I just have, I haven't been super, into putting on makeup recently. Um, I've been really busy like with my baby and um, I started teaching, I've been teaching dance fitness for a while but I started um, becoming a Zumba instructor so that's been taking some of my time and I started a photography business. So I have just been really busy and all over the place and I also have not been wearing makeup very much like at all um, because all the things that I do don't require me to wear a lot of makeup. I can just kind of do my own thing. Um, so I just haven't had the energy or felt like I needed to uh, wear a lot of makeup. I'm also pregnant, so I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, I'm I'm only eight weeks, so I'm not like super far along. But the last like three weeks has been extra exhausting for me and hard. Um, it's hard to be pregnant and have a baby and be doing all those things. So, you guys know if I'm taking the time to film this, it's because I'm very, very excited about this. Also, um, another thing, I have kind of been having a hard time filming videos because, I mean, everybody on YouTube has just, I mean, all of their videos are perfect. They have the perfect background and they wear the perfect outfit and they have like the perfect hair and the perfect jewelry and um, they wear lipstick. I don't wear lipstick. I wear lipstick like six times a year maybe and lip gloss like once a week so I know how to do makeup and I love doing it but I just it's not a big part of my life right now and so it's been hard to feel inspired to make videos because I'm just not because I'm just not doing that so much anymore so it's really hard I can be a perfectionist with stuff like this um, stuff about myself and so I have a hard time just like I am in a t-shirt and my hair, I haven't done it today, I just kind of brushed it. Um, and like I have some face makeup on from this morning and I took my eye makeup off from earlier and I didn't put my concealer back on for this video. And I didn't put on more bronzer, which I usually need more bronzer for videos because I'm really pale. So I've been really trying to just let go of expectations that I have for making the video like super pretty and like... I don't know, it's hard to, it's really hard whenever I go back to edit a video and I'm like, man, my hair looks horrible. There's a video that I filmed a while ago about something I was really excited about and I filmed it three times and I was just not happy with it. And I can't tell you how many times in the past I have refilmed videos because I just wasn't happy with it. And that is so much time and effort. So I'm trying to lower my expectations and just be chill and like, this is how I do things in real life. Um, and my life is not glamorous, and I don't think anybody's life is really that glamorous. So, long story short, but basically, um, I am just gonna relax and not worry about not looking totally put together, and I'm just going to film a video. So like I said, I am so excited for this video. Um, this is a product, I, I haven't gotten this excited about a product in a very long time. So, um... I, a while ago, one of the videos that I refilmed was a video about magnetic eyeliner and lashes. So I'm sure you've seen it going around on like Facebook or Instagram or something like that. But um, they make like magnetic eyeliner and then you're able to stick magnetic lashes on um, your eyeliner. And so it's a really cool thing and I tried it and I loved it. I, I mean, I filmed a video about it. Um, but after a month, the liner started to get like really gloopy and gross and one of the lashes just fell apart, which I wore them every day for a month and so it makes sense. Um, but I really, I wanted to have the look of fake lashes every day and so, I don't know, it was, I really liked it but it was like 70 bucks to get the liner and the lashes and because they both fell apart, I needed to replace them. And I was like, spending 70 bucks a month, I might as well go get my lashes done. If I'm if I'm wanting good lashes and I want them all the time, why wouldn't I just spend the money having somebody else do my lashes for me? So, um, I decided that 
I wouldn't invest in that anymore and spend my time on that. It also was hard because I had to do my makeup every day. I had to make sure the line was thick enough and then put my lashes on. So a really, really cool idea. And maybe if you don't wear fake lashes very much, it would be a good alternative. Um, I would highly recommend that if you are just looking for something to wear every now and then. So a while ago, I found this video on YouTube by this girl. I'll link it down below. And she talked about this company called Lashify and they make do-it-your-own lash extensions at home kits. I watched a video about it and everything and then I went to the website and I ordered a different product than she did. I didn't buy the tweezers because they're really expensive. Um, I did buy, so I wound up going with the, the bondage, uh, adhesive and the Lashify melt away remover. Um, I feel like these two are essential for getting this um, look. The other things um, like the sealer, it would probably extend the life of your lashes but I'm fine doing mine every week. It doesn't bother me and um, everything on there is a little bit expensive um, so it's up to you whatever you would like to use. But these were the two that I went with. If there was one more product that I would recommend, it would be the tweezers. Um, because they're like designed for this and it looks like they're a lot easier to use than just like the regular tweezers that I use from Walmart. Okay, so the first step is very important. You need to make sure that your eyelashes and your eyes are completely clean. Um, something that I really like to use is the Simple Micellar Cleansing Water. I really like this because it's water-based, not oil-based. And um, if your eyelashes and your eyelids are like oily and they're not dry, um, then you'll have a harder time getting the adhesive to stick to your lashes. So Lashify has their own lash pieces. They're called Gossamers. And um, I uh, watched this video by this girl um, and I will link her video down below, but she recommended that you just buy regular drugstore eyelashes, whatever kind of lashes you like, and then you just trim them so that they're in little pieces like the gossamers are, and then adhere those to your lashes. That way you're not spending a fortune on one-time lashes, and I feel like if you're going to spend that much money, you might as well have somebody else do your lashes for you. So, um, the brand that I usually use is Ardell. I like to use the Ardell. They're called the, oh, the Foam Ink Wispies or something. So those are the ones I usually like. And you get a pack of four uh, for $14, I believe, at Walmart. So this time when I was at Walmart, I saw these. Um, I already took one of the sets out, but they give you five. And this was only $9, and so I was like, well, if you can save even a little bit more money, I mean, you save $5 and you get one more set of lashes, so I, I thought I'd give it a try today. So I've never tried these lashes, but they're similar to the ones that I have been using. Um, they have, you won't be able to tell, but they have a clear band, they don't have a black band, and um, they're just really wispy. Again, I don't think that you can tell, but... These are pretty wispy, just like the faux mink ones from Ardell. Um, I prefer these to the regular Ardell lashes that look a little bit more... I think they have a picture on the back of this, actually. Yeah, they say, here's the difference between regular lashes and their lashes. Theirs look more natural versus like the kind of more stubby ones. So I personally um, prefer the look of more wispy ones, but... I mean, I was thinking about it, and if you wear mascara, your eyelashes end up looking a little stubby sometimes, and so I don't think it's a big deal if you want to save even more money and just get the regular Ardell lashes that aren't super wispy. I hope that that all made sense. I just take these lashes, and they are a little bit long, and so I'm just going to take my little, I just use little, like, lash um, scissors or eyebrow scissors. I, I use them to trim my longer eyebrow hairs and I also use them to trim my lashes. So I will just um, trim some of the length a little bit. Just a tip, if you would like to know how I trim my lashes, typically with lashes like these, um, the ends are, I hope you can see that, yeah, the ends are longer than um, the inner corner and um, so it like prog progressively gets longer. 
personally, I prefer to trim them so that the ends aren't quite as long and the middle is the longest part. I feel like whenever you have the longest lashes in the middle, it makes your eyes look taller and not wider. So personally, I prefer to have my eyes look more open and not like wide. Um, if you prefer that other way though, that's fine. Um, having them go out more to the side makes them look a little bit more flirty. So if you'd rather have that kind of look than that, I mean, you do whatever you want. See, I'm just trimming these to trimming the ends mostly. Um, I don't know if you will be able to tell a difference from what I was showing you earlier, but that's kind of how they look now, a little bit shorter. I'm going to trim the other ones. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim these into smaller pieces. I'm going to trim them probably into five or six little pieces. That way they're a lot easier um, to stick to your eye. The adhesive that I use from their line is I use Bondage, which is um, their waterproof one, and it's also black. Um, I think that their initial um, product was called Whisper Light, um, but I thought it would be better to have waterproof, um, and so this is one that I picked. So what I like to do is I will, um, I'm going to be looking into a mirror, so sorry if this looks a little strange. Um, I will take the product, and this one is on kind of like a really tiny mascara wand, and so I will first stick it to my lashes. I like to start on the inner corner just because I feel like I have a little bit more control. And probably got some on my eyelid, but that's okay. We'll clean it up later. Then I like to take the lash, the little lash piece. I, I hope you can see it. It's curved like that, so the end is here, and it's going to go like this on my eye. So I will go on the top of the lash because you're going to be placing these underneath your eyelashes, not how you would normally apply uh, false lashes. And I'm just going to kind of brush the product onto the band and then also a little bit onto the lashes too so that they'll stick. I try not to put them too much on the lashes because um, I already have a decent amount of product on my own lashes. So then I just use my own tweezer tweezers and honestly I wish I had purchased theirs. They're um, the Lashify tweezers but they're like $65 and so I'm like I will just make do with these. So I'll give the glue a second to dry and then I will take it on my tweezers and then I hope you can see what I'm doing. I will stick it underneath my lashes as close to my lash line as I can. Oh. And I need to try again. You will experience a little bit of trial and error with trying to get this on properly. There we go. And it's on and I just kind of use my fingers to try to make sure it is properly in place. There we go. Um, so you do want to make sure you apply, <laughs> I look so weird, you want to make sure that you apply this to your lashes and not to your waterline. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. So now I'm going to go into the next section. I think I already have a little bit of glue on the next section, but I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more on. And Okay, now I'm going to grab the other, the second lash and put the product on the lash. Okay, so I've got two little pieces of lashes on right now. I've got one, two, three, four more to go. So I'm going to kind of speed through the rest of this.
is the first eye done. I've applied all the lashes. What I like to do next is I like to take the wand and I, I gotta grab a mirror. I like to get super close to the base and just kind of press some more product onto the lash line. Just to make sure that the bond is really secure. I am gonna go ahead and do the other eye and um, then I will check back in with you guys. Okay, so here's the finished product. I'm gonna get in a little bit so you can kind of see. I did kind of make a mess. You can see some little black pieces, but this is what they look like. I'm not wearing any makeup at all on my eyes. So I zoomed you guys out a little bit just so you can kind of see um, what they look like. Um, I really like how natural they look, but also, I mean, if you want to get fuller lashes or not trim them as much, you can have the craziest lashes that you would like. It is going to be a learning curve. Um, it took me like an hour and a half to get them on the first time, um, just because I, I wasn't using good tweezers, I'm just using regular tweezers from, like, Walmart <laughs> that are like a dollar, and um, I also... Um, I mean, I just kind of made a mess the first time using the, I think at one point I like stabbed myself in the eye and the glue got everywhere. So, um, yeah, uh, it took me a little bit the first time to kind of figure out how to get them. And also I've never placed lashes underneath my eyelid. It's always been on top. So, um, it was tricky, but also now that I'm, I've done it a few times, it's like pretty easy to figure out. So, um, I anticipate the first time to take a little while and get a good mirror that you can be like really close to that will help um, and have good lighting now this takes me only 20 minutes to do um, and I these lashes will usually last me about a week um, so normally what I do is I will put them on Monday morning and then I will wear them all week and then on Sunday evening I will take the lashes off and clean my eyes really good and then I will sleep with no lashes on and then put them on again Monday morning. I really love it. Um, super easy once you get used to it and it's really affordable. Like I said, this set of five lashes was nine dollars so this is a really good alternative to going and getting your lashes done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be filming next. I have an idea for the next video I'd like to do. If you have any video requests, I'd be open to it. Thanks for chilling with me while I do my lashes, and I hope that you like this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!